Hi everyone, just uh, getting a little bit of a late start today. Today it's not technical issues, it's my allergies. I had to blow my nose about 12 times before I could speak well enough to go on camera, so there's that. Um, and I'm just going to give it a moment while people join us, gather some audience. I'm super excited about today's topic though. Um, and I'm going to just step up and close the door because I realized I have the door open for this lovely spring day but it's a little bit louder than usual. So let me close that just in case. That's better. All right. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, I'm Mary Mortizi Pino. This is More Than Organized Monday. And uh, today we're going to talk about checklists. I'm going to keep it a little bit short since um, I'm still pretty stuffed up, but... I wanted to get you some information, and you can get even more information about checklists and things over on my website, morethanorganized.net. And if you go to morethanorganized.net slash checklists dash to dash boost dash productivity, I know, I need to get better at finding pretty uh, URLs. That's on the list, my one of my lists to do. So um, again, you can just go to the blog and search for checklists and it'll pull up checklists to boost productivity. Um, it's a great article I just updated uh, last week and so there's a whole bunch of new information kind of compiled on there. But today I wanted to focus on my three favorite kinds of checklists. And the first one is my three most important tasks of the day list. And a lot of people set out a to-do list every single day and it's really long and they try to get a million things done and sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't most of the time it doesn't and then you end up feeling not very productive so I got this tip it's kind of via Tony Robbins via Jack Canfield via several other places but I liked it so much because it's so simple you just write your three most important tasks of the day on a post-it note these are the little tiny guys so you know you can have ones this size, or you can have one this size. This size allows you to just have three. Three is the max you want to focus on per day. Now, if you finish them, you can add a couple more, but if you're talking about the three most important tasks, that way if any new opportunities, interruptions, unforeseen circumstances come up, you still can focus on getting the three most important ones done. So today, it was Record More Than Organized Monday, it is to send um, the slide decks for the people that signed up after a presentation I gave on Saturday because that's a commitment I made to people. And I need to work on my QuickBooks. I'm very, very close to having everything pulled together for my accountant. Um, unfortunately, I'm not very good at QuickBooks, so every time I do it, it takes three times longer than I think, and I keep running out of time. So uh, I'm getting better at it, but that will be what we'll talk about on one of the other checklists um, has made big improvements in that area as well. So after the three most important tasks of the day are on a little checklist, and notice I just stick this little post-it on my actual, I use a laptop, so it's right on the space next to my trackpad, so it's right there handy in, in front of me. Um, this is the kind I would let my clients put on their monitor if they have a desktop computer, um, but it needs to switch out every day. Okay, so there's that. Um, the second way I like to use checklists is for my routine items. So I have a little, Chris Brogan refers to these as action stacks. It's the steps you take every day um, on a specific routine thing. So I was just trying to pull mine up uh, so I could show you. So I have a daily list. I use, uh, it's hard to see. I use the Reminders app on my iPhone, and daily I do five or six things. And so they're on a checklist, so I don't have to rewrite it every day. I just know that I do these things every single day. So I pull up my daily list, and I check those off, and then I move on to my weekly list and see if there's something I can tackle there. But every day I spend a little bit of time on email, a little bit of time making phone calls, a little bit of time on my many situation, and a little bit of time taking care of the to enter pile. You can learn more about the to enter pile uh, via the One Minute Mail Solution Kit, which is also a free offer on the website, morethanorganized.net slash opt dash in to get the One Minute Mail Solution Kit. But that's, um, so I have a daily action stack. I have 
a monthly one, um, and I have, you know, when I'm doing a newsletter, I have the steps for the newsletter all written down, um, various tasks that I do for my work. And I just am, I'm so close to being done with the actual checklist for my QuickBooks. Now, keep in mind, I've only been using QuickBooks for a little over a year, and Part of the problem is what I like the other form of checklists for, and that is the infrequent nature of it. Even if I review my money every day, there are certain aspects of uh, matching transactions and pulling reports together at the end of the year that I've only done once or twice. And until you get in the habit of doing it and knowing everything you need to know about it, and there's still a new learning curve, you want to have a checklist of the steps involved. And so, Last year I started putting together the checklist, but this is really only the second time I'm using it and a couple questions came up. And so I have to go back and forth with my accountant a, a few times and, and it's being really helpful. That one I keep in Evernote um, just because it's a longer term thing. So my daily routine list says money and on once a month I make sure I reconcile the QuickBooks. So that's something that's only monthly. So the extra detailed notes about reconciliation are there. And then at the end of the year, I have to do all those matching up things and just reviewing. And so that has another checklist that's also an Evernote. But I know right where they are. So the stuff that's in my face and in a more daily routine frequent thing are in my iPhone Reminders app. And the stuff that is a little more infrequent, but I need to know where they are, are in Evernote. Um, part of that is because I'd love to be able to hand off some of the tasks and Evernote allows me to delegate a little bit easier than uh, the Reminders app. So the Reminders app is kind of to keep me on focus and then I pretend to be my own assistant. So I go to Evernote to pick up the things that I will delegate eventually to someone. I hope that helps. The three levels of checklists that I use regularly, um, the three most important tasks of the day, the regular routine tasks, and the infrequent routine tasks. Um, I think I'm going to leave it at that for today. And next week we'll go a little bit more into how to deal with checklists for project management and agendas, which are involve someone else or a place location to happen. So let me know what you think. Um, tell all your friends again. Mondays at 10 a or I'm sorry, 11 a.m. Mountain Time. I'm usually right here on the Facebook page doing a live. Tell all your friends and don't forget the full uh, article blog post is checklists to boost productivity over at morethanorganized.net. Thanks so much. Have a great day. Bye.